By making a will, you decide what you want to happen to your assets when you die, giving you and your family certainty and peace of mind. It also lets your family know that you have thought about their future. The things which you should consider including in your will depend upon your circumstances, but the important roles to bear in mind are executors. These are the people who are responsible for dealing with everything when you die. If you have children, you also need to consider appointing guardians who would be appointed should you die whilst your children are under the age of 18. You then need to consider what gifts you would like to include in your will. You can include specific gifts, for example of jewellery, personal items or cash or land and you can give these to friends, family or charities. You then need to consider the residue which is the pot at the end which gets divided up. You can divide this up however you want but generally speaking assets are left between husband and wife and then down to their children. In the cases of second marriages, you may wish to consider including trusts in your wills to ensure that those you want to inherit do so. If you do not make a will, there are laws which dictate what happens to your assets when you die. It's important to note that if you have a partner, regardless of how long you've been living together, they will receive nothing. By making a will, you avoid the time expense and stress on your family that the laws of intestacy may cause. You do not necessarily need a solicitor to prepare your will. There are many will writing companies around but they may not have legally trained staff. You can also write your will yourself but many homemade wills are often not prepared correctly. By preparing a will with a solicitor you ensure that your wishes are followed on your death, giving you peace of mind that your assets and family are protected.